see the limitations of CDS. What is the limitation of CDS and what is the way of come out up to some extent? Okay. What is the way to come out up to some extent? So this is the question. What is the limitation of CDS? Okay, so let's first try to understand the limitation of CDS. So the very first limitation of the CDS is that, you know, you can't achieve, you can't achieve the, you know, complex business logic, complex business logic, but up to some extent, right? So what is the limitation? So this is the biggest limitation of the CDS, okay? You can't achieve the complex business logic with the help of CDS, but up to some extent, up to some extent, up to some extent, using the CDS table function, you know, using the table, uh, up to some extent using the CDS table function, you can achieve the complex business logic, okay? So we have the concept of CDS table function where you can go and write the complex business logic, but the only drawback what it is having, it is having, it can have maximum one determining parameter, right? You cannot have multiple import parameter, export parameter, changing parameter that is not there. And that's where, and that's the reason is still we are using the AMDP, okay? Otherwise, you know, we could have used the table function if it would be supporting, importing, exporting and everything. Okay, then we can directly using the table function and we might have used the CDS for all the purposes, right? But due to that limitation, right? So up to some extent using the CDS table function, we can achieve the complex business logic. Okay. Now, what is the problem with table function? What's the limitation of table function? What is the limitation of, what is the limitation of table function? This is the question. So answer over here is, this is good, but it can have only one, only one, you know, a returning parameter, returning parameter. You don't have, you know, you don't have, you don't have multiple, multiple importing, exporting, changing ETC, right? Changing parameter. Can I MDP method have a returning parameter who will tell can a amdp method have a returning parameter we have discussed can a amdp parameter have a returning parameter we cannot have right amdp amdp method cannot have the returning parameter but this table function can have the returning parameter okay but in the table function you can't have importing exporting and you know changing parameter in the table function, right? Multi you cannot have the multiple exporting and changing parameter. I think importing parameter is there, you know, but you don't have the exporting and changing parameter in the table function, okay? So that's the limitation of the table function. That's the limitation of the table function, okay? So we have written over here some limitation of the CDS, implement the complex logic uh, data exchange happens between the queries, right? Sometimes CDS gives error related to the data types. So cannot imp cannot have the imperative logic like looping, if, and extra things, right? So implementing the complex logic is the challenge. Sometimes CDS gives the, uh, like if you want to put the inner join on two different types of data type, it will go and give the error, right? It cannot implement the imperative logic like loop, loop, uh, if and extra business logic that is not possible. But with the help of CDS table function, which was introduced in SAP NetWeaver 7.5, the SQL script 
was embedded with the CDS in form of table function. And that's where we were able to overcome some of this uh, uh, problem. But the problem only it was having, it can have maximum one determining parameter, right? In the table function. CDS table function is getting converted in table UDF in underlying database. So when we are going to create a CDS table function, where in what artifact at database layer it's going to convert. So the answer over here is the table UDF, right? 